Hey everyone, welcome to part two of our Farm Progress Show coverage. Now, I wasn't able to make it this year, so we sent Angela Sharp, our Around the Farm guest host. Now, if you want to either relive all the memories or maybe you weren't able to attend, be sure to stick around and check out all the fun, the food, and the friends that happen around Farm Progress Show. It is quite entertaining and really fun to watch. And we'd also say, if you didn't make it this year, we hope to see you out there next year. Enjoy. Hey, I'm Angela Sharp, filling in for Clint on Around the Farm. Farm Progress 2021. Farm Progress. I am so excited to be here. We're going to go visit the Welcome Booth and find out what we need to see and do. Well, hi there. Hello. How are you? Good. We're not on TV, are we? No, not yet. Good. You want to be? <laughs> what do you want to know? Do you by chance know where the Welcome Booth is? Sorry. That's all right. The badge was deceiving. I finally caught up with Matt Youngman here at the Farm Progress Welcome Booth. All right, Matt, what is your title here? I am the National Events Director. National events writer, which means you know everything I should see here. What should I check out first? Well, you know, the show's been around for 68 years and, and it's grown on the base of having exhibitors shaking hands with farmers and the field demonstrations out there. Be sure you don't miss the combines rolling at 11, tiling at noon and tillage happening at two o'clock. Great. Can I get on one of the combines, you think? <laughs> Maybe after hours, but probably not during the show. There's uh, an 87-day DeKalb hybrid that we planted out there in mid-April, and it's coming in at 22%, about 180 bushels, so it's in great shape. Just new introductions all over the grounds. I, I, I would tell you that the food is, is excellent. I just finished a tenderloin sandwich, and I'll be having probably more steak sandwiches than I should have from the ribeye stand. I'm going to need to know more about food because I'm very hungry. We do work hard with the food and the demos, doc dogs, things like that. We have a beer garden. I have a concert coming up Wednesday night. Really excited about that. But we do work real hard to make sure that the 20, 2021 Farm Progress show is unique and special and different and, and valuable for everybody to come every time. Oh, well, and it's super important this year since you had to take off previous year. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, probably more than ever, there are new product introductions. Realistically, there have been products being rolled out for two years that these growers have not had an opportunity to see in person. So something new around every corner and on just about every exhibit. So just keep my eyes out and can I climb on anything? There are some cool platforms to climb on. I know there's one at Agco that you can get up about two and a half stories high and get a really cool view of the show site. I'll race you. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I know, but but isn't it more about the driver, less about the... Oh! <laughs> Nick, I hear you, the guy who can tell me everything there is to know about the car. Not everything, but this is a mid to late 1930s soil and conservation service car. So this was actually driving around, helping the District of Soil and Water Conservation when they just kicked off, all in response to the Dust Bowl and all the soil and wind erosion that was happening out of that. Okay, that's awesome. I didn't realize it was actually the service car. I thought we just painted those letters on there. No, that was told it was a service car, U.S. Department of Interior, then, you know, now we're the soil and water conservation districts are under the U.S. Department of Agriculture. All right, so what do you do over here? <laughs> oh, so I'm with the uh, State Association of Conservation Districts for Illinois. We're here in this tent with our partners for conservation, so folks are in pollinators and soil and water conservation. We're all here kind of telling what we do as a partner team. Will you tell me about the bees? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll right. make up something if I don't know. All right. Well, okay. So what, what do we have here? Okay. This is a miniature colony. Okay. It's out of a larger colony and it's for display. Call it a, 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 a observation hive. An observation okay, hive. Okay. We've got worker bees, maybe a few drones, which are male bees and the queen. The bottom part is where they uh, uh, raise young bees. This is a brood called the brood nest. The queen lays eggs in there. The workers keep it warm. They keep it 98 degrees approximately where the 
where they're hatching the eggs. Okay. Up here, this is honey. Okay. That's where they store their honey, and if they need some to, for food, they can go up and get it. The hive should weigh about 100 pounds in October. You can move a hive two miles or two feet, but nothing in between because they home in on a location. They got GPS. And if you move the hive 10 feet, you'll have a pile of bees where the hive used to be. Male bees don't do anything. They just sit around and eat. Is it that typical? It, you know, I don't know if they got a bar or not, but they may drink a little bit of mead. And then uh, in the fall, when the weather gets cold, they throw them out. You're gone. We don't need you. This is so interesting. Thank you so much for telling me about the bees. You're welcome. Now we are going to have to cover the birds next time. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good day. You too. All right, so I have a Kathleen here. Kathleen, what can I expect to see inside? Sure, so with DeKalb and Asgro, what you really were really focused on is the fact that winning has roots. So whether that's your family farm that's been in your family for generations, or it's just the, the practice and, and all the preparation that goes into every single season leading up to planting. Um, and so really what we're focused on is with DeKalb, Asgro, as well as the entire portfolio of options that a farmer can have, expect to get with us. So with DeKalb, we're really focused on uh, DeKalb combined with Acceleron Seed Applied Solutions Elite with Enhanced Disease Control, which is a seamless seed treatment that it, offers an additional 3.7 bushel an acre advantage at no additional cost to the farmer. So we're talking about that. Um, we're also talking about Asgro and Extend Flex, which is a part of the Roundup Ready Extend crop system um, and is a new product that, that just recently came out for us as well um, with that trait package. Um, we're also, of course, talking about Bayer Plus Rewards as we're the only seed brand that you can uh, expect to re redeem those and receive those rewards um, with Bayer Plus Rewards, as well as, of course, Climate Field View and all of the benefits and advantages that a farmer can come to expect you utilizing climate field view combined with DeKalb and Asgro seed. Wow, I mean, that, that's so much. I guess you're pretty excited to see people since last year nobody was here. It is. It's been really exciting just to get to talk to farmers and get to see a lot of customers as well as coworkers that we haven't seen in, in almost two years now. There's some fun in there too, right? There is. So we've got a whole baseball theme. So whether you want to practice your pitching, whether you want to practice your batting, or you want to get a baseball card made, all of that's inside. Baseball in a cornfield. I, I feel like I know what's happening there. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, batting cages. It's been a hot minute. All right. I feel like this yellow bat is the one to use, right? need to put this back. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is dogs only. This is for dogs. This is for dogs. I, I, I knew that. This is, this is for dogs. Okay. Bear, bear, go on. Go, 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 go. Good boy. I caught up with Johnny Cash, the Mustang from Las Vegas. All right, Mr. Cash, how are you enjoying this show today? My, my legs how's it going? Are in charge more of how's it, how's it going? I'm going to pet you, because everybody needs to be pet. Did? Yeah. Everything is a drawing motion. I'll stop. Out of my legs back. And my legs coming back are giving him... up in the back mobile. Just doing what I want to do apparently. 
Ooh, a seat. This is lovely. I like the big view. It makes me feel like really important. I mean, it's huge. I also feel a little bit like Batman. I need one of those masks. Batman. Okay, so there's a bolt tied to the bucket. Saw it. We're gonna put it in the cone. Sure just the, we are. Just the bottom portion. Okay. That's the easy one. What? That's the easy one. Once you do that, May you have to come over here and put the football in the bucket. Three, Yay! two, one, go! I will do my best to help you along the way. You did one of the appropriate footwear, that's good to see. That, that I got, I got the costuming. Good to see, you don't have a sun hat though, it is awful sunny today. Yeah, I'm Hungarian, I'm Hungarian, it's all right. Oh, she's right there, look at that. I think she's been paying attention, folks. Oh, come on! You're right there. And no one's been injured yet. Right. Ah! Left hand forward, Woo. No! Cool. All right, now go with the bucket. That wasn't what I was supposed no. to do. Hi there, how are you? I'm good, Chris Allen. Uh, Angela Sharp. It's a pleasure You're so you. friendly. Well, thank you. It's, uh, it's awesome, and I love the shirt, by the way. Well, thank you. Go Cardinals. <laughs> I got some Cub fans back there, so we better keep we, it low. Let's keep them back there. That's there you fine. Go. We That's don't, a we good don't spot. need them close to us. Unfortunately, we got a Cub fan coming up. Oh, no. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll still take it from the Cub fan, but I like Cardinals fans way better. <laughs> Let's go Cardinals. <laughs> go Cubs. <laughs> it doesn't need butter. It doesn't need butter. It's sweet corn. It doesn't need butter. That's right. Mm. We actually ate some of that off of the air this morning right out of the cooler when we got it. This is really good. Freshly picked. It is good, isn't it? Yeah. And right, I can pick up the interview if you'd like. Here, yeah. you Here we go. All right. So, how is the sweet corn? It is really good. Is it? What are you going to tell me about it? It came from Ted Maddox, uh -huh. local grower, grows here, distributes all over the area. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for 16 years. This is number eight for us. Every other year for 16 years. I love that. What do you do when you're not doing this event? My wife and I also own a food truck and a food trailer that we do on the weekends, locally. Which one's the wife? My wife is right over here, Michelle. Hi, wife. That's that's the boss right that's there. That's the boss right that's there. That's the way it's the supposed boss. to be. See, Absolutely. he learned. Well, it took me a lot of years, but I finally <laughs> figured out. We sell between five and six thousand ribeyes at this event. Whoa! Over, over the course of three days. Let's I'm try. Actually, it. even going to move the bread out of the way so I can. Is this the opportunity that if if you're not pleased, I pull the mic away and go interview somebody? <laughs> this is really good. Now I know why your line was so long the first time I drove by. Well, I, I appreciate that. You know, it's, it's hard to satisfy everybody. We do our best. We start cooking actually at five in the morning. Five in the morning? Yes, ma'am. We fire up our grills at five in the morning. We've got proofers that hold hold at temp. So there's no extra cooking going on while they're in the proofer. They're just holding temp. We'll pull the first ones off about 6.37. And by nine in the morning, 8.39 in the morning, we're selling. Obviously, thanks to Mac Youngman, Rick Wild, and the Farm Progress crew for allowing us the opportunity to do this. I can't not say enough about all these people in here. It's everybody that's in this tent right here that allows us well, to Well, like I said, when I came successful. by earlier, you had a very, very long line. So they've been running back and forth. So that's great to hear. It's hard to satisfy everybody, but hopefully you enjoy it. You guys did a great job. It is really good. And the corn is so good. This is the perfect meal right here. Perfect meal. You wanted to play trivia. You said yeah. you were good at trivia. But I want you to try my kettle corn too, because it is amazing. I did see the sign that said it was voted best in Indiana. Indiana State Fair, yes, ma'am. And event is how many other kettle corns were at the State Fair? I think maybe one other. Oh, so you're just better than one other kettle corn? No, we're better than everybody. We're better. All right, let, let's see. Let's right. see. Uh, absolutely. Let's see, let's see. All right. Oh, ooh, he's giving me a lot of kettle corn. All right, I like kettle corn. I heard very good. You have a line of people waiting to buy your kettle corn. Oh, so awesome. I'll... You guys can come on over here and we'll still get you. So I will ask you some very quick questions. All right, do you guys think you're really good at trivia? No. Well, I don't know about that. We raise and show cattle, Hereford cattle too. So you think you're going to know all these questions that have to do with cows? Roughly, maybe. I don't know. I feel like if this is your job, you're going to do very well. I sure hope so. My plan is to be the first one to get them all right. The first one to get them all right. Well, let's start then. I mean, this is going to be so fun. What is the biggest cash crop in the U.S.? It would have to be... Corn. Corn. Corn or maize, as some call it. 
Um, corn, obviously. Corn. All right. So you got it. Did my dancing help you? Kind of carried. All right. Okay. Good. 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 All right. How long does a chicken egg need to incubate before it hatches? One day, seven days, 21 days, or nine months? Go 21 days. 21 days. 21? Roughly about 21 days. I didn't even give her the setup. I usually say the answers. Love this right here. How many glasses of milk can a cow produce on an average day? Glasses. I'm going to say a dozen. Go more than that. My ag teacher taught me well, so I'm going to go with 166. Ooh, that's so high. 2,000. Wow, that is a lot of glasses of milk. One, one cow. One cow. Roughly around 90. Whoa, whoa. She is representing for the ladies today, I got to tell you. You can win this whole game. Okay. If you can get this question right. All right, redemption. What is my favorite color? Orange. How did you know that? Here we go. Oh my gosh, Lucky that really is my favorite color. Are you serious? Yeah. All right. I was that. That is legit my favorite color. You've won. All right. You've won Thank a prize. You. See? That was good. Questions. I told you. How many loaves of bread can one bushel of wheat produce? Twelve. Forty-two. Forty-two. Did you just say forty-two? 42. Oh, I thought you said What the state has the most farms? Iowa. No, Texas. Oh, yes, yeah, a big state, ain't it? If cows have four stomachs, how many stomachs do pigs have? Two. I don't know what to do with someone who's lost all my questions. I know, but look. When I asked, I said, they're going to do farm questions. And, a, you know, you are. Well, do yeah. you not like farm questions? I love farm questions. Well, you didn't get any right. Because I don't know that much about farms. Okay, well, how about, how about this? <laughs> how about what is my favorite animal? A snake. I will give you one $20 gift card if you give me delicious kettle corn. Yes, ma'am. That'll work? Yes, ma'am. That'll work? Yes, ma'am. All right, here you go. Congratulations. Yes, ma'am. You are our huge winner. Thank you so much. <laughs> Only because you said so and it made me feel that way. <laughs> we had a great time at Farm Progress in 2021. I guess I'll have to see you next year. What a great episode, and a huge thank you to Angela for stepping in and covering as our guest host. And also, thanks for all the folks that make Farm Progress Show happen. Such a huge success this year. Also, thanks to the listeners. We appreciate you joining us here, and we ask that if you like the show, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified each and every time that we push out new content. Also, as always, Around the Farm is brought to you by Climate Field View, and we've had an absolute blast. And so we hope to see you around the farm.